Imagine a world without electricity, radio, neon lights, integrated circuits, remote control and radar. Could one human being really be behind all that? Nikola Tesla is called the man who invented the 20th century, and his life is like a thriller about science, money, power, and crime. Tesla's most ambitious vision was to tap into the energy of the universe. For Tesla, the cosmos seemed to be a huge building site, and he wanted to be its construction manager. Tesla built Wardenclyffe, a gigantic transmitting tower on Long Island, to send messages as well as electricity via radio. Who was Nikola Tesla, this mysterious man? I went to see experts and enthusiasts who had done a lot of work on Tesla, institutions that were named after Tesla, and the places where Tesla had lived. I began my research at the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. That is where everything about Tesla should be. After landing, a sudden surprise. The airport bears the name of Nikola Tesla. A good sign, I thought. In 1951, Tesla's estate was sent to Belgrade in 15 overseas suitcases. Right after his death in 1943, all his documents had been seized by the Office of Alien Property and then screened by military secret services for almost a decade. In Yugoslavia, Tesla's papers were seized again, this time by the services of the Soviet Union. In 1956, Marshal Tito invited Niels Bohr to attend to the opening of the Nikola Tesla Museum. At that time, Niels Bohr was the most famous physicist in the world. Today, the most fascinating thing in the museum is the sphere containing Tesla's ashes. Is he really in there? In a sphere, the perfect shape? Tesla always wanted to be like that, a perfect machine, or, as he called it, an automaton, the human being. Where could I find other original material? Sound and even film recordings were possible at the time. Tesla died in 1943 in the middle of Manhattan at the Hotel New Yorker. In New York City, the first super city of capitalism. Millions of people immigrated to the US through her gates. One of them in 1884, Nikola Tesla. For half a year, Tesla worked for the Edison company. Then he set up the first business of his own, but soon this company went bankrupt. For six months, Tesla had to work as a day laborer. Then. Two investors financed his revolutionary alternating current motor. The Tesla engine was a super sensation. It was small, strong and effective. In the summer of 1888, George Westinghouse bought Tesla's patents and brought the new system onto the market. The war of the currents had begun. Why is he not covered? in the newsreels as Edison was covered or any of the other inventors or, well, Einstein we know equals MC squared, but you know, still, why? You know. What do you think? Do you, th you have an answer to that? What do I think? Yeah. I think at the time probably no one was interested. I hate to say that, but I think just no one cared. Margaret Cheney wrote the biography, Tesla, Man Out of Time. She said that Tesla's brain may have worked like a reptile's brain. Like a lizard, she said. I didn't really understand that. Perhaps she meant a spontaneous way of thinking. To be alert, to have a continuous, direct contact with your amygdala or your cortex or something like that. If you look at Tesla's patents, you can notice how elegant and simple they are. Everybody knows that the simple and apparently easy is always the most difficult thing to come up with. Vilimir Abramovich, a brother of the world-famous artist Marina Abramovich, is professor of philosophy in Belgrade. 
He characterizes Tesla like this. Genius works as nature itself. For Velimir Abramovich, Tesla is the mental father of the coming enlightened age, the basis of the civilization of the 21st century, and a role model for all of us. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> it's a long, it's a long way to be Tesla, but people strive. They want, and one day they will be. Aus 